Alex Oxley, Chamberlain, Liverpool midfielder, and he's finished. Just a bit nicely, he's finished. He's absolutely finished. Really frustrating. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him for a number of reasons. Obviously, it's not his fault. You know, he wasn't. He's had so many injuries, and obviously, formerly of an Arsenal player, probably formerly of a Southampton player, knowing Liverpool. It's not typical of Liverpool to have former Southampton players. That is, that is a fair stat to be fair. But Oxley Chamberlain, what happened? You know, from an Arsenal talent to someone that's just so injury prone, just never been the same player again. And I would it, but it, I will say now that you know injuries are unfortunate and they do happen. But I know what Liverpool haven't had the best season. I know they haven't been having a good season. But this is Chamberlain hasn't been good for a long time. Obviously, in the summer he was linked to Villa and West Ham. Those moves did not happen, which you know I'd like to see Chamberlain join Villa. Actually, I wouldn't have minded that. And that would have been a, you know, that would have been an interesting signing to see if we could get him back to full fitness and get him in the side. Though sometimes playing for bigger clubs doesn't always, doesn't always, you know, work out for every player. But Chamberlain just seems to have really taken them injuries really poorly and. He's just never recovered, never got back from them. And he should ultimately just needs to leave Liverpool. No, no disrespect to Liverpool, but they seem to they seem to play him a lot at the minute, which is a strange one because he didn't do anything. He's got better options. He's aging. He's injury prone. And I think the same goes to Naby Keita and Curtis Jones. They're all, you know, injury prone, not very good players, and, you know, they can have their moments, but Chamberlain's had his moments. Doesn't make him an incredible player. He is a good, there is a player there, but they can't find it. Constantly struggling to stay fit, and I feel he's made a de um, poor decision, you know. When you're playing a competitive side like Liverpool and you've got injury you know, you're an injury prone player, you're gonna have a problem. Ultimately, this was gonna happen. When you've got a team that wants to win trophies and wants to you know, constantly compete to be the best, injury prone players are not gonna be able to cope with that. They just can't. If you go play for like a mid table side, or even a club with European ambitions, you know, that aren't quite there but are getting there. That's, that's good enough. It would probably be enough to take down, you know, the competitive, you know, playing down a notch, and that would probably probably help out. And obviously, teams could help him get back to fitness. I'm not calling favourites, but Villa do have quite a good injury team. We've managed to get Carlos back in a quick amount of time. Managed to get Bubakar Kamara back. A lot quicker than we expected. We're also getting these players just back quicker because something obviously we have something that obviously is doing something to, to help out. And you know, if he's playing for Liverpool and he's not doing anything there and he's just sitting there for the wages, that's not gonna, that's not a career. You know, we've seen the Liverpool version of Oxlade Chamberlain, we've seen the Arsenal version of Oxlade Chamberlain. Two completely different sides, and it's just a shame what's happened to Oxlade Chamberlain. And maybe, you know, he's still got a few years left in him. 
I very much doubt at this stage he's going to want to retire, but he could do. But you could also just move to a club where it's all, you know, it's not as much pressure on you. I know the Liverpool fans feel for you as well. And they, and I feel for him, I feel for Oxlade Chamberlain. And if, you know, I feel he should have joined Villa in the summer. I can't even remember what happened, why it didn't. I think we just didn't. I think we gave up and didn't he sign a new contract as well that was a silly decision I think it does make you wonder if he's just there for the wages which wouldn't surprise me but hopefully we see Oxlade Chamberlain get back to his back so we'll move on but right now he's generally in trouble I don't see him making a bounce but I don't see any sign of improvement at Liverpool so Right now, he is ruining his career, let's be honest. 